What's up guys, hope everyone is having a good day and enjoying the nice weather. Um, I apologize for not posting in a while, but I've been having a lot of problems with my equipment and I lost a lot of files, but regardless, I'm going to try to stick to my regular schedule starting tomorrow, um, but in the meantime, I want to try to catch up a little bit. So a lot of you guys have been leaving comments on my videos, so first I want to say thank you, um, but also I want to start answering some of the questions you guys have been asking, so this week I'm going to start putting out a bunch of mini or short videos addressing your comments starting today with this video on custom fonts in iMovie. A lot of you guys have been wondering what fonts I use in my videos and if they come with iMovie. The font I use in most of my videos, including this one, is called Surfing Capital. If you are familiar with Sam Colder at all, this is the font he uses in his videos also. You can get this font for free by going to defont.com and searching Surfing Capital. Now this site will tell you as well, but downloading this font will put a lot of stress on your computer, especially on Windows for some reason, since the font is so heavy in details. So keep this in mind if you want to use this font, because there are plenty of other fonts on this site that look just as good and aren't as heavy on your computer. Anyway, once you've downloaded the font, just go ahead and open up Fontbook, click the plus icon, and locate the folder you've just downloaded. Open it and double click the .ttf file. This will add the font to your library, so now you can use it in iMovie, Pages, and a lot of other programs that come with uh, Macs or that you download, such as Adobe and whatever, etc. To find the custom fonts in iMovie, just add a text title to your timeline, type what you want, and click on the drop down menu right here. Scroll down until you see Show Fonts and click on that. From here, you can just use the search bar and type in Surf and Capital and select it. And you can do the same thing for any font, any other fonts you download. Now, like I said, this is a heavy font, so it may take a while to load. Also, for future reference, if you see a font you'd like but you don't know what it's called, there's a website called whatfontis.com where you can take a screenshot or a picture of any font you see and upload it, and it will try to tell you what font it is and where you can download it. All right, so now the font is all loaded in and ready to go. And that's it. Now you can do this for all your videos and with any font you want. If this video was helpful to you guys or you liked it, please make sure to like and subscribe to this channel for more content. Tomorrow I will be putting out part 2 to the iMovie Basics tutorial. And on Friday I will try to put out another mini video answering more of your questions. So keep leaving those comments. I read all of them and I really appreciate all the support you guys have given me. Also, if you'd like to be featured as a shout out at the end of one of my videos, make sure to turn on the post notifications by clicking that little bell down in the corner by the subscription button and then commenting done on this video. Anyway, that's all for now, guys. Have a good day, and I'll see you tomorrow.